Hello everyone, uh, I had a lot of requests for this game, so here it is. This is round 3 of the Isle of Man International Tournament, uh, James Tarjan vs Vladimir Kramnik. And, uh, well, James Tarjan was a, was a promising grandmaster in the 70s. Uh, he, was a, uh, he was a member of the Olympic team for the United States, and, uh, well, in 1984 he gave up chess to become a librarian. Uh, but no one really ever gives up on chess completely, so here he is, uh, playing in round 3 against the former world champion Vladimir Kramnik. And uh, this was a pretty big upset, as uh, Tarjan is rated around 2400, and, well, uh, Kramnik is rated around 2800, so, so there is a 400 uh, ELO points difference. And uh, I will put a link in the description below where you can check out uh, Fianchetta's interview with James Tarjan. It's uh, quite enjoyable, I encourage you to watch it. So let's see this game. Uh, Tarjan is white and uh, Big Vlad is black. We have c4, uh, knight to f6, g3, c6, knight to f3, d5, uh, b3, bishop to g4 by Kramnik, bishop to g2, e6, uh, Tarjan castles, knight bd7, uh, bishop to b2. And we can see that uh, Tarjan already fianchettoed uh, both of his uh, bishops. And this was kind of his plan, uh, because how do you prepare uh, against a player like Kramnik? Well, you have the white pieces, this seems like the most optimal setup. Uh, you just, uh, you know, you, you try and uh, ho hold everything together. So, bishop to d6, we have d3, uh, Kramnik castles, knight bd2, uh, rook to e8, uh, h3, bishop to h5, uh, rook to e1, a5 by Kramnik, a3, and now e5. And already you can see that uh, black doesn't really, black doesn't really have any problems here in development. Uh, this bishop is, this bishop on h5 is okay. He can even go to g6 where he will be a bit more active. This bishop on d6 is beautiful. After after e4 will be played at some point. Uh, Kramnik is doing okay here. Uh, c captures on d5, and we have c captures on d5, and knight to h4 by James. Uh, knight to c5, uh, we have queen to c2, knight to e6, and rook a to c1. And we have uh, knight goes to d d4. Uh, queen to d1, as uh, the queen was attacked, and knight to b5, attacking that a3 pawn. And knight to b1, defending the a3 pawn. Tarjan doesn't mind uh, putting the knight on b1, as he is playing against Vladimir Kramnik. Uh, we have queen to d7, <coughs> Uh, king to h2, adding protection to this pawn on h3, and now rook to a6. Kramnik's idea is, uh, well, uh, he will put this bishop on b8, and, uh, well, uh, depending on the position, uh, he will either double up rooks here, or maybe in the future even rook g6 or rook h6. So we have knight back to f3, and we have e4 by Kramnik. And now this uh, dark square bishop comes alive. Uh, we have d captures on e4, and here Kramnik plays knight captures on e4. Uh, James Tarjan said that if Kramnik had played this uh, d captures on e4, uh, he had planned the knight to h4, and then f, uh, if Kramnik decided to push e3, then f4. And he said that uh, he thought this was okay for white. Uh, no problems there. <coughs> but after d captures on e4, Kramnik played knight captures on e4, and we have uh, rook to f1 by James. Of course, uh, you can't capture this pawn on d5, because bishop captures on g3, loses the queen, uh, just to get that out of the way. So, rook to f1, adding protection to this f2 pawn. Uh, we have bishop to b8, so now Kramnik has, uh, well, he has ideas of rook to e6, maybe g6 or h6, we'll see. Uh, knight to c3, James would uh, love to exchange a pair of knights. We have knight captures, bishop captures. And now uh, Kramnik decides to double up rooks on the e-file. We have uh, bishop to e1. Also, <laughs> uh, Tarjan seems to be putting all of his pieces on the last rank, on the first rank. Uh, he said that he was even considering knight to g1 to protect the e2 pawn like this. So we have h6 by Kramnik. Uh, well, this h6 move wasn't really ambitious, as this prevents this rook from ever coming to h6. And the king wasn't really in danger there on the, on the last rank, so this breeding square does, isn't really doing that much for black. Uh, rook to c2, improving uh, the position a bit, adding some protection to the e2 pawn. Uh, bishop to a7, 
and we have queen to c1. Uh, Preparing moves like a rook to c7 maybe. Uh, so bishop to b6, not allowing rook c7. <coughs> we have e3, uh, queen to b5, attacking the b3 pawn. Uh, and here, well, uh, this is uh, the critical moment of the game. Uh, here, Kramnik is, uh, Kramnik is doing okay, he's even better. Uh, with a move like rook to f6, uh, adding more pressure to, to the knight on f3, this would be completely okay for black. Uh, but Kramnik played this queen to b5 move. Okay, he is attacking the b3 pawn, but he's allowing this knight to d4 idea. And now uh, the knight is attacking the queen and the rook on e6. So bishop captures on e6, e captures on e6, and now we have, uh, well, <coughs> now uh, Kramnik uh, should play a, a very nice move. Uh, for example, b6 is a move, uh, bishop to e2 is a move, but Kramnik goes uh, for the kill. Uh, he plays bishop to f3, and this seems to be giving up the bishop in entirely. And okay, I do, I did understand this move the first time I saw it. I, I thought, okay, you can't capture the bishop because queen captures on f1 is coming. But James decided to capture the bishop. And uh, well, here I thought, okay, very nice, Kramnik wins the rook. Uh, but actually Kramnik played the knight to g3. Because uh, what's the idea? If queen captures a rook on f1, uh, then this is the move Kramnik missed. He missed bishop to e2. And this is, uh, well, uh, this is trapping the queen. Uh, but I think, uh, well, I think this can actually be played. This would have been much better than what Kramnik actually played. If you continue this with knight captures on g3 and sacrifice the queen, bishop captures on f1, knight captures on f1, this is with check. So king to g2, and now rook captures on e1, now attacking the queen. And after a move like queen to b2, rook to e6, uh, you're threatening rook to g6. And, uh, well, rook to c8 check, king to h7, and uh, rook to c3, and now rook to g6. And now, uh, well, uh, James would have to give up this rook with rook to g3. Because if you don't give up the rook, uh, for example, if you played something like uh, king to f3, uh, you get checkmated with knight to h2 check. So king f4, uh, rook to e4 check, king f5 and rook to g5, this is checkmate. So after this rook to g6, uh, Tarjan would have been forced to play something like rook to g3 and give up the rook. Knight captures, f captures and uh, well, uh, Kramnik is a pawn up and two rooks are, well, always better than a queen. This would have been winning for Kramnik. Uh, although I might have missed something, but I don't think I have. Uh, but yeah, after this bishop to f3, Kronik didn't capture the rook. He played knight captures on g3, and after f captures on g3, now he captured the rook. Uh, and now it seems like he's either grabbing this pawn, this bishop on f3, or this uh, bishop on e1. <coughs> but he doesn't get either, uh, because bishop to f2 is uh, uh, <laughs> is what Tarjan played. And now to Kramnik's horror, uh, well, Tarjan has two bishops, so he has a bishop pair for a rook. And it wouldn't do Kramnik much good if he was rated 5,000. This is, uh, well, this is, uh, this position is too good for white. Uh, queen to d3 was played, uh, rook to c3, queen to f5, king to g2. Uh, we have rook to f6, trying to exchange queens, queen c2, queen d7, now g4. Uh, rook to c6, and now uh, rook to c5, rook to d8, and now queen to f5. Uh, forcing the exchange of queens, uh, Kramnik plays rook captures on c5, queen captures d7, rook captures on d7, and now pawn captures on c5. And now the bishop pair is simply dominating this rook. We have d4, king f1, d3, king e1, d2 check, king d1. Uh, Kramnik tries to bring the king into the game. Uh, rook, uh, this bishop to g3, uh, king e7, now check, king e6, grabbing the pawn, a uh, couple of more moves, and well, this b pawn is just marching up the board, and in this position, I believe it was where uh, Vladimir Kramnik resigned, as there are normal moves. <coughs> if he plays something like king to c7, Simply bishop to a7, 
and uh, well black can stop this b8 queen move and well later white can simply even sacrifice this bishop for this pawn and this pawn is going to become a queen or he can just play it simple and grab all the pawns his king is much closer so yeah after b7 Vladimir Kramnik resigned the game and uh, James Tarjan is definitely uh, the hero of the Isle of Man tournament so far maybe maybe there will be more upsets we'll see so yeah, uh, that's it. I do hope you enjoyed the game. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Uh, thank you all for watching and I will see you soon. And uh, thank you all for your very nice messages. I, I, will, I am trying to get better. <laughs> see you soon, guys.